Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. Last year, I did a video about pH crash, what it is, and how to avoid it. In this video, I'm talking again about pH and why it is so important that we keep a check on it. This winter, I have seen an unprecedented number of cases of low pH in customers' ponds. The effects of the problem can and have been extremely severe. Many fish have died before the problem has been diagnosed by the pond keeper. The sad thing is that this is one problem that can very, very easily be treated or avoided entirely. Testing pH takes only a few seconds and should be carried out fortnightly. All you need is an inexpensive test kit, such as this one, the Tetra pH test. Add 5 milliliters of water to the test tube. Then add 7 drops of the reagent. Shake the tube. Compare your results with the colour on the chart. 6.5 to 8.5 is fine. Lower than 6.5 means that the water is a strong acid and it will not do the fish any good at all. Swift action is required otherwise the outcome is likely to mean dead fish. If you would like to delve a little deeper into water quality you can also do a test for KH carbonate hardness. With the Tetra test kit add 5 milliliters of pond water to the test tube. Now you need to count how many drops of reagent are required to turn the water yellow. Add one drop of reagent at a time. Shake the tube and wait a few seconds. If the water does not go yellow, continue adding one drop at a time and shaking and waiting until it does. If it takes less than three drops to turn the water to yellow, then the water is very low in carbonate minerals. And this means that the pH could drop extremely quickly. We refer to this as low in buffering capacity. So why has this year been so bad? Well, I think it's largely down to the weather. This winter has been one of, if not the wettest, on record in the UK. It's been all over the news. Rivers burst in their banks, flash floods, farmland saturated with water. Our ponds have been overflowing with rain and topping up with tap water has been the last thing on our minds. Whilst there is nothing in rainwater that is directly harmful to the fish, it lacks carbonate minerals and it cannot be relied on exclusively as a water source. To rectify this problem, you can add a treatment of bicarbonate minerals to the pond. Add some oyster shells to the filter, dump some water to waste and refill with tap water. Simple as that so easy to avoid, so easy to rectify quickly. I hope that you found this video interesting and will subscribe to the channel. Post some comments and give the video a thumbs up. It's bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.